It's me, Sarah Sargent. I am back today with another video. Can you believe it? It's only been about six months since I've posted um, on YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> um, today, we are going to be testing out um, a product and a brand that I've wanted to try forever. It is Flower Beauty run by Drew Barrymore. So of course, I'm a huge Drew Barrymore fan. So my expectations for her makeup brand are of course really high. If you guys want to see if she met my expectations with Flower Beauty, then keep watching and see what happens. Hi guys! Okay, so today we're going to use a product that I have never used before. It's a brand that I've wanted to try out for quite some time because I am a pretty big fan of the brand owner. And um, let's just cut to the chase. It is Flower Beauty. So this brand is owned by Drew Barrymore, who I have been a massive fan of since I was a kid. I don't know, like, when did E.T. come out? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've just been such a huge fan of hers. I think she's so cute, and she's just such a cool chick. Her products were in the drugstore area, so they're quite affordable, and I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. Today, we are going to be using this palette right here. It's called... I think it's called the Sugar Rush palette. Let me open this up for you guys so you can see the colors. So really pretty warm palette. I want to say that this was only about $15, so I'm I'm really curious to see how the quality of this makeup is. I've found in the past that sometimes inexpensive makeup doesn't perform all that great, but then there are definitely some brands out there that perform as good as my high-end expensive brands that are really affordable. So I'm I'm really curious to see what happens. So one of the channels that I follow on YouTube is Kristen Leanne, and she's just a really fun, cruelty-free makeup channel. So I like seeing what looks she comes up with. She's kind of like edgy and really colorful and just does really fun looks. Um, so I was inspired by one of the looks that I saw her do a while ago, and I don't remember what makeup she used but the tutorial is on her channel if you guys want to check it out it's that look right there if you guys can see I'll go ahead and insert a photo um, so you guys can see what I'm gonna be working off of I was just really inspired by this look I thought it was really beautiful and fun and um, in looking at these colors I thought that that look would be a good look to test this palette out on and then I do have a couple of other new products in this video that I'm gonna be testing out as well so let's see how this baby performs let's see what happens it does come with a little brush in here I don't know if I'm gonna use this I guess I'll try it out and see how it goes oh also I thought I'd mention that I um, am testing out this little headscarf trend right now. I also follow Sammy Jeff Cody, I think is how you say her last name, on Instagram. And she has the best style. She does have like a similar rock and roll style, um, like a goth kind of rock, just really cool fashion sense. Um, so you guys, if you don't know who she is, you might want to follow her because she's really cool. But she kind of sparked this whole headscarf craze. Um, anyways, I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but I felt a little bit inspired by her today too. So basically this video is just of me copying a bunch of people today. <laughs> I usually try to do original looks, but apparently I'm just going to copy a bunch of people today and see how it goes. So anyways, yeah, headscarf. And I also got a new backdrop. Um, I just kind of wanted something fun. I know you guys can't tell, but it is a huge backdrop and it is a tapestry of the moon tarot card um, which I thought was totally fun so I can kind of adjust this for different looks maybe in the future I might lower it and show the moon but right now it's just the mountain and the stars which is making it kind of hard to see the headscarf but you know what we're just gonna go with it okay enough blabbing let's get into this review slash tutorial. Kristen did a halo eye, which is what I'm going to be doing today. There really aren't any shadow names for these, so I'm just going to point to what I'm using. I think I'm going to start first with this end pink color right here, and 
I'm gonna try this brush out and see what I think of it and I am going to just pop this in my inner and outer crease and leave the middle section blank because of course we're gonna do a halo eye. Okay, dipping in once, first impression is this is pretty sheer. It could be the brush, it could be the formula, I'm not really sure yet. I'm gonna dip in again and see what happens. I mean, it seems like it's build buildable, but it is definitely still pretty sheer. At this point, I'm just trying to like pack on color and get it as saturated as I can. Not too much blending going on at this point. I'm just packing on this color. And actually, I'm, I'm really not hating this brush. It is kind of a dense, I don't know, blending brush, I guess. But because it is kind of stiff and dense, it does seem to make it good for like packing on color. So I have been gone for a bit. I know it's it's been a minute since I've posted anything on YouTube. I've had a really busy work schedule. So I've had a bunch of tours back to back and um, yeah, I've just been working and I really haven't had, I really haven't found a good way of like finding time or a good place to be able to film makeup tutorials or even do like a makeup of the day on my Instagram which if you guys aren't following me is Sarah Sergeant Pepper and I just kind of post everything over there. If you guys want to see my touring life, you can check that out. If you want to see um, makeup looks when I do them, everything is over there. But yeah, so I haven't really found a good way of being able to film makeup tutorials while I'm on the road. I just really, I know I've said this before, but I just really don't have enough space on the tour bus to like spread out a bunch of crap and and film. And I also, um, it's kind of dark on tour buses. The lighting isn't great, so I don't really think that you guys would see very well what I'm doing. And um, there's a lot of people around all the time, so I just really, it's just really like nothing about it. <laughs> it's really good for, for being able to film. I do get hotel rooms on days off like once a week, but I usually on those days off I'm either like sleeping or catching up on work or I'm like out and about enjoying my day off. So yeah, I have yet to find like a good balance when I'm not at home to be able to do this. And I, I don't know, I would really like to start photographing um, my tour looks, but it would be on my iPhone and um, you know, I film I film and I take photos of my makeup looks on my Canon camera and I just feel like the quality um, just wouldn't match what I like on the iPhone, but I think I might give it a try. And actually, after this, I might test out filming a video on my iPhone, not a makeup video, but just like a haul video or like a collections sort of video just to test it out and see how it goes and you guys can let me know so keep an eye out for that coming up. Next up I'm gonna go in with this matte fuchsia color and I'm just gonna deepen this up a bit and I'm just gonna keep using the same brush and see how it goes. Okay so I'm finding that you can definitely layer these it does take a few times. Yeah, it is definitely putting some color down. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend the edges of this a bit. So now I am going to go in with this like sparkly golden color. It looks like it's kind of like a yellowy champagne shimmer with some pink micro glitter in it. And I'm just taking a flat brush Actually, back up. I think before I do that, I'm going to do what I always do with all palettes, and I'm going to put down some glitter glue in the center of my lids just to ensure because anytime that an eyeshadow has glitter in it, I always try to use this so that I don't end up with a bunch of stuff like fall glitter fallout on the bottom of my eyes. Because I have hooded eyelids, when I use glitter products, um, it does tend to like flake off 
and fall down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that shade. Hmm, okay. Looks a little bit like chunky, I guess, on the brush, but let's see how it applies. Okay, first pass through, it's definitely sheer. The same sort of feedback that I had with the matte shadows, I think you just have to like really build this up. I am glad that I put down that glitter glue because it is helping it to stick to my eye also. I think without it, this particular shadow would be extremely sheer. So this is what it looks like so far. I think, I wish that it was a little bit like more opaque. So I think I'm gonna try getting my brush wet with some setting spray and see if that makes a difference with this shimmery color. Okay, my brush is nice and wet. Let's see if this makes a difference. Oh yeah, wow, okay. Okay, so that made all the difference. Now I'm going to do my bottom lash line and I'm gonna pop some eye pencils down first and to mimic just the colors that we have up above, I am going to be putting a pink eyeliner on the inner and outer um, waterline, smudging that into the lashes and for that I'm gonna be using Urban Decay's pencil in the color Woodstock. Then in the center of my waterline, I am going to be using this Marc Jacobs eyeliner, and this is in the color In the Buff, and it is just like a pearly um, nude color. Once I have the liner laid down, I am gonna be going back into the palette, into these first two pink colors that I used, and popping those over the liner that I put down, and then in the center section, I'm just gonna be putting that shimmery color over the white color, just to set it. I think that I am going to go in with my finger and that shimmery shade and just do one last pat of it on the center of my lid just to try to get the most out of this shade before I move on. Okay, next up I'm gonna pop some mascara on. Um, I'm gonna be putting lashes on for this look. I'm gonna use Tarte Tartist and I'm just gonna do a coating on my top lash and then I'm gonna put some on my bottom lash line but not put any in the center where the white shimmer is. Oh, I just touched my eye. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I touched the wand right on my inner eye with the mascara, and I hate when I do that. But I did learn a really good trick from Jessica Hayes. If you can just be patient and let it dry and resist the urge to wipe and smear it, I can go back in with a spoolie in about a minute and just scrape it off and it comes off pretty easily. Okay, while I'm waiting for this little smudge of mascara to dry, I am going to pop on some lashes. Kristen has on pretty full lashes in this, so I'm gonna be using House of Lashes in Iconic Mini. And so I'm just gonna pop some eyelash glue and put these on and by the time I do all that, this mascara should definitely be dry. All right, this definitely looks like it's dry. I'm going to, oh yeah, just flick that right off. Totally gone, like it never happened. That is the coolest trick if you can be patient. Today's highlighter that I'm gonna be using is by Fenty and this is in Girl Next Door and Chic Farik. And um, I think I'm just gonna layer both of them. I'm gonna put these on my cheeks and then I'm also gonna pop some in my inner corner. So for lips today, I picked this up at Sephora. It is the Fenty Holiday Lip Gloss Collection. And I figured we could just do like a quick little lip swatch. I thought that that would be kind of fun. I think I'll start from lightest to darkest, just to give you guys a good idea. First up is Confetti. This is a really pretty iridescent color. Ooh, this is good too with the winter 
it has just made my skin so dry and like my forehead's been really flaky and dry and my lips have been so chapped so I didn't want to wear liquid lipstick today so that's really pretty there's not a whole lot of color in this it's just a really nice shiny lip gloss with like a slight sparkle in it the next one I'm gonna try is called fussy this is like a peachy sort of nude color looks like it has a little bit of sparkle in it also okay again this one is pretty subtle it's just kind of like a nude lip shade color um yeah I think I could just wear this every day next one that I have is this bright pink one this is called pretty please it's like a really bright bubblegum pink and all of these by the way do have glitter in them okay um I'm not too sure about this one this isn't really a color that I would wear and take this for what you will but to be totally honest this actually reminds me of like an early 2000s like Paris Hilton era uh, lip color so if that's what you guys are into you would probably love this for me I don't know that's not really a look that I'm going for there was this shade by Lancome back in the day do you guys remember those juicy tubes they were like these little squeezable lip gloss things I remember those were like all the rage in the early 2000s and I had a billion of them and one of my favorite colors at that time was this shade um sorry not anymore <laughs> all right let's see what's next okay the next one that I have is this like corally orange color this one's called cheeky I'm not sure what my thoughts are looking at this in the tube I'm either gonna love this or hate this Okay, um, I don't actually hate this one. I could see this being really cute, like in a summery, beachy at atmosphere where you want like a pop of like a bright color. And there's something about this like corally orange color that I find a lot more pleasant for me than I did this hot pink one. The last one in this set is the darkest. It's this chocolate colored one and it's actually called hot chocolate. Okay, so I really like this one also. It's definitely the darkest out of the bunch, but it is definitely sheer too. I mean, it is not opaque at all. You can still see my lips through this. It looks much darker in the tube. I also thought I would include in this swatch video, this is not included in the gift set, but this is Fenty Glow, which I also have had for a while, and I really, really love this color. And I love the Fenty lip gloss formula. It's not sticky or uncomfortable to wear, and actually, I will sometimes wear these instead of like a lip balm or a chapstick because I find them to be very moisturizing as well. So let's go ahead and pop this one on. I love this one. I can literally wear it with anything. Okay, so I went ahead and popped Fussy back on my lips just because I thought out of all of them, it went the best with this look. Okay, so that is all of the Fenty glosses swatched. Let me know what you guys think of those and if you are planning on picking those up for the Black Friday sale. That brings us to the end of this look. Um, let's talk about this palette really quick because I do have some thoughts on it. I am going to talk I guess about the cons first. So there were a couple of things that I wasn't crazy about about this palette. First off, I've had this on my eyes now um, for probably about a half hour um, while I've been finishing up my face and talking to you guys. And 
I'm sad to say that in the time that I've been doing that, my eyes have started watering and kind of burning and it seems like I might be allergic to one of the colors in here. So that's a little sad. I usually don't have a problem with like reds and pink colors. I know that they can typically upset some people's eyes, but I do wear those colors a lot and I usually don't have a problem with it. So I don't know if it's, it's some sort of ingredient in this um, that is, making my eyes burn but that like I said is a little bit of a bummer for me I'm not saying that it's gonna do that to you you might try it and have no issue at all the other thing that I didn't love about this is the shimmer color I felt was really really sheer that really had to be built up quite a lot as you can see I went over it dry with the brush I went over it with glitter primer which is really sticky and usually grabs to any eyeshadow um, then I went over it with a wet brush and setting powder and finally with my finger it's a pretty color in the pan but the performance on my eye I don't think was that great um, I think in the end the look that I got you know is okay but it took a lot of work to get there. Okay, the two matte shades that I tried, I thought were pretty good. I think that the color payoff, once I was able to like build it up and go over it a few times, it was good. I would be interested in trying the other colors in this palette to see if they all perform the same. The thing that I did actually really like about this palette, which in the beginning I really didn't think I was going to, was this brush. Yeah, I thought it worked really good. Usually the free brushes that you get in palettes are not very good at all, and it, because of the price point of this, I was thinking that this was not gonna be good. I thought it was gonna be garbage, but surprisingly, um, it's not. Overall, for the price point of this palette, again, it was like $15. I think that this is a really cute, trendy colored palette for $15. If that's your budget, I think that you would be all right grabbing this. Check it out if you want and let me know if you've tried Flower Beauty. If you have, what did you think of it? Did you have a good experience with it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. That's gonna pretty much do it for today's video. I wanna thank you guys for watching today and thank you for you know sticking by me while I haven't posted any makeup tutorial videos for probably about six months. Yeah, sorry, I've been working, I've been traveling. If you follow me on Instagram though, you know that, you've seen my travels. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video and I will see you guys in another video, hopefully soon. All right, bye.